everyone, this is Sean Daly with Global Voice Acting Academy and the lovely and ridiculously talented Katie Lee. How are you doing today, Katie? Hello, Sean. I'm great. Wonderful day, as you can see. Yes, it is a beautiful day. And for those of you who might not know, Katie Lee has been performing in voice acting for over 35 years. If you're like me, you couldn't turn on the TV without seeing something that she was involved in. I mean, we have uh, Muppet Babies, Gummy Bears, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, My Little Pony, Totally Spies, Despicable Me. I mean, that's amazing. But, uh, but anyways, the reason we're here is that you have a class coming up, right? In two weeks? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, dear to my heart, it's an ensemble acting class. A lot of people take workshops to develop characters, uh, to come up with voices, to read copy. What's missing these days is so many people work alone in the studio. And so my goal is to bring people together, to have the experience, at least in this workshop, at the very least, of working with other actors and understanding that acting is reacting and playing off of other people and getting your energy and being able to improvise in the moment with other actors, not just on your own, feeding off of their energy. And I think that's what makes great cartoons, is having all the people recording at the same time. And when that happens, that's about as good as it gets. And it's wonderful. So I've, I, I'm reflecting on my career and all the things that I've done. I, I realize that a lot of up-and-coming voice actors don't have that experience. Like even now, if I'm recording on my own, at least I know what it's like. Like it's in my knower, so to speak, of that I'm talking to another character of what we're doing. You know, I can visualize it because I'm so used to, you know, um, experiencing a script that way. So I wanted to give people the opportunity to have that experience. So even when they are by themselves, they can remember, oh, you know, I, I know what that feels like to be working with other actors and, and bring that sensibility to their read. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Now, I I studied theater in high school and college, so I'm familiar with the idea of like an ensemble cast of working together, and I feel like a lot of people today who are interested in voice acting get really excited when they see these sort of behind the scenes footage of actors working together in the studio. But like you're saying, um Nowadays, unless you're in Hollywood, and even in then, that's not really the case anymore. So I love that you have this really unique opportunity for people to kind of get those amazing impromptu reads from working with another cast, with from working with other talented actors in a studio situation. I mean, that sounds like so much fun. Well, it, it, I hope so. We're also going to, you know, use those... Um some sides, do a little bit of the experience of casting, of coming up with a character and figuring out who's going to play what, because that often happens in a real live recording session. We might be hired to do a certain character, somebody else, somebody else, and then there's an incidental character, and they say, oh, who's going to play this? So we have to, you know, figure it out as we go. So we'll start out that way, doing a little bit of casting, and then using some real scripts that I've used that you know, I've got permission to use shows that maybe on the air now or were in the past and have that opportunity to, you know, read from real scripts together and seeing what it's like to see what a real animation script looks like. The, um, what do you call it? Sorry, like stage directions. It's not theater, but it will tell you what the action is so you can know what's going on and and then I get the thrill of directing the talent which I love to do and help bring out their best performances uh, in the context of the scene and uh, we always have so much fun. Yeah it sounds amazing I mean not only are you really recreating this sort of studio experience but you're just working on so many relevant skills for voice acting and one thing that I noticed is there's, there's quite a bit of improvisation that you're focusing on in this class is that right? Yeah, I mean, because improv in the context of what you can do when you are working on a show. It's, you know, you're going to have a script there, but there are lots of times when somebody will come up with a better idea 
I just got off a panel uh, uh, for a Disney event with Jim Cummings, who played Darkwing Duck, and he also played Honker Muddlefoot in the same show, and I played his son. He played Herb Muddlefoot, and I played Honker Muddlefoot. Sorry, I don't know, losing my mind. And um, But when he was Darkwing, they would say, I am the terror that flaps in the night, and then they would write, I'm the, you know, this, the bugs that are smashed on your windshield, you know, or something like that, the bug. But he would come up with really funny things on his own, and eventually the writers would write whatever Jim says. I am the terror and dot, 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 whatever he can come up with because he was so good. So the idea is to, it helps you own your character to add some things. It may even be a vocal noise or a body movement. You know, but whatever you do informs your performance and you're free. I want people to feel free to bring that to their character. So there is improvisation, improvisation into finding where does the voice come from? Who are we? You know, what accent might they have? So that sort of type of improvisation is definitely a part of the class. Well, I love that you're sort of providing this safe space for talent to to experiment because I feel like, especially with new talent, once they get into the studio, they're they're so nervous about uh, coming back or being invited back again that they might lose trust in themselves to to create sort of original or entertaining and interesting characters. And uh, by by providing the safe space, you're reminding them that this is a partnership. Right, absolutely. And it, actually, the you're forgetting part of the reason of the class is having the other actors because you're relationship is with the other actors too because there's many times I've gone into the studio and we've been cast and then they might hear us and say you know you sound a little bit too much alike what are you going to do to differentiate your voices even more so really the uh, once you get the job the auditioning part is the work once they've hired you they like you now it's your chance to play so we're going to start with the premise that you've been hired to work on this show now let's see what we can do with it very cool. Well, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, where can I sign up? <laughs> and luckily, I can tell you that. So this class is coming up very soon, in about two weeks. It's a two-session class on September 5th and September 12th from 5.30 to 7.30 Pacific Time and 8.30 to 10.30 Eastern. I'll be putting a description, or excuse me, I'll be putting a link right here and then a description below. And... Meanwhile, Katie, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being so generous with your experience. I'm really looking forward to this class. Well, and just a reminder, it's going to be like this Zoom, what we're doing right now. Everybody can join from wherever they are. I don't know what time it will be in England when we do this, but if they want to get up in the middle of the night, it's available to everybody. And actually, um, I had a question if it would be good for beginners or what level. And really, I think anybody, because it's about playing with each other. Um, and iron sharpens iron. So, you know, it's, it's everybody's welcome who wants to, you know, get their feet wet and see if, if it's something they like to do because it does require thinking on your feet. It does require some good sight reading. So it gives the um, student a chance to see, hey, where am I in this process? Am I ready for this yet or not? Absolutely. I mean, not only are you working on such great skills like collaborating with other actors and on your improv abilities, but once again, you're really recreating what a professional studio-directed session is going to be like and really increasing awareness of all the moving parts and all the different people that you might have to work with uh, if you if you pursue voice acting. So before I go, I'd like to once again thank our guest Katie Lee, an incredible voice actress and coach, leading our ensemble acting class that's coming up on September 5th and 12th, 5.30 to 7.30 Pacific Time, 8.30 to 10.30 Eastern. So I'm Sean Daly with the Global Voice Acting Academy. Thank you guys so much, and we hope to see you there. Thank you very much. <laughs>